So after my last video that I posted on Kenya, before we get into the intro, okay, I was like, okay, let me post something else because I think we have our Kenya Moore fix for now and I've been posting her back to back. I'm going to, you know, relax on the Kenya Moore post and wait until Dance with the Stars on Monday to remind everyone and, you know, all of that, right? But then she was on Instagram Live with the Jasmine brand and some of you missed it and are in my DMs asking me to please post it. So that's why I'm back with another Kenya Moore video. She talked about everything, okay? But she was talking to Jasmine for about an hour. So I'm doing a part one and part two. Part one, she's mostly talking about dancing with the stars, motherhood, and just how happy she is. Part two is when she gets into the Real House of Atlanta, you know, whatever issues she might have with Cynthia Bailey, they don't have any, but <laughs> she talked about that, you know, based on certain interviews and things that, you know, Cynthia been talking about. She talked about her marriage, divorce. She talked about the new show, the All Stars show. So she really got deep in part two. So I'll be back with part two. What's up, my Vina love sisters, Vina D, coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Hey guys, it's Jasmine Brand, and we're going to be talking to Kenya Moore today. Reality star, TV personality, Kenya Moore. We're going to be talking to her. If you guys are fans of Housewives and fans of Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know she's on Dancing with the Stars right now. Um, so we're going to talk to her about Dancing with the Stars. And we're going to talk to her about the new Housewives mashup that she's on. We're going to talk to her about Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you guys have any questions you want me to ask, now is a good time. Hey! <laughs> hey! I got my little camera set up here. <laughs> it looks, you, well, the, the light is good. Is it? Okay, it's just a little wobbly. I'm so sorry. It's been a crazy day. Uh-oh. Okay, girl. I see the girls are out, Kenya. Oh, are they? Oh, not, no, not, not, not much. No, not not like nipple, but like the cleavage is, you know. Oh, honey, you know. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is a direct result of a breast lift and redu reduction. <laughs> so you got to lift and reduce. Okay. I did. Yes, they are sitting, honey. They are definitely sitting now. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I don't have, I'm a girl with no boobs, but when you get a, um, when you get a lift, do you have to get any kind of implant or you can just get pulled back? Well, how does you know, that work? It depends. It depends on what result you want. Like I had already super, I was up to like a G. Like I had just after Brooklyn, my breasts just, just never stopped growing. Right. So it just depends. Like girls do it all the time with or without. It just depends on what you're working with and what the end result you want. But yeah, doctor, um, his, his name on online is Dr. High Dev. So if you guys are in the Atlanta area, Tennessee, if you want to travel, let me tell you, he is the bomb. Like he is so good with the boobies. Okay. All right. Okay. One, <laughs> one more booby. One more booby question. This is a booby, booby and mommy question. Did you did you breastfeed? I did breastfeed. I, I breastfed for like three months. And so when you were your and your breasts get bigger when you breastfeed, right? Like so so, or. They fill out. What is what happens? It depends. I mean, I think everyone is different. For me, definitely they got bigger, but I wasn't producing a whole lot of milk. Like I was struggling with the whole milk situation. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was. Yeah, they got bigger, but again, after I stopped breastfeeding, I my body went right back like after three weeks I was like surprised I was like oh my god because of my age and I was like oh I don't know but I knew I took care of myself I knew that I had really you know good abs and a good core yeah and then I was just like oh I don't I just don't know at my age and then at three weeks I just looked down and my tummy was flat and I was like oh I didn't have stress marks I was like oh my god thank that's you genetics <laughs> that's genetics I don't know I really just don't know I think it was a part like me taking care of myself like me working yeah. out all the time 
Yeah. Okay. So after dancing with stars, after dancing with the stars, and all that kind of stuff, we need to have like a mommy talk, like a mommy and parenthood, and we need to talk about that kind of stuff because I I, I have do, questions. We do. Yeah. My head is spinning right now, but yes, we definitely need to do that. Okay. So let's let's jump right in. If you're just joining, I am on with TV personality Kenya Moore. When I usually talk to you. We're all in the middle or the end of the season of Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I, I want to talk about that. But of course, I really want to talk about Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Okay. Oh so, my God. so, so what first of all, know? so first of all, um, it's been on for 30 seasons. You watched it for a long time. As a viewer and as a fan, have you always, has that always been a goal to be on the show? You know what? I, I have watched it. It's been on for 30 seasons, but about 16 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I've watched it from the beginning. I used to watch it with my grandmother. She's the one that introduced me to dance. And you guys, if you know anything about me, my grandmother raised me since I was like three days old. And she introduced me to dance. We didn't have money. So she took us to like this community center, um, like a free community center in Detroit. And they had the free classes. And we just kind of had to raise money for our little costumes for our recital. Like, you know, going door to door and selling like raffle tickets or, you know, asking for people to buy ads in the magazine or something like that. So I, from then, I was like about five or six years old. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I have never been more happier than dancing. Like, I love to dance. And I know you guys have seen me like play around and, you, you know, they would be like, oh, she's stiff, whatever. I'm like, no. I actually can dance a little bit. <laughs> but well, my grandmother is the one who, who introduced me to dance, and I have just had a love for it ever since. And when Dancing with the Stars came out, I was like, oh, my God, I want to do this show so badly. But it just never lined up. I've been offered to do it before, but because of my schedule or other things, it just never worked out. Because production was um, pushed on Real Housewives, I was like, this is the first time I'm actually going to be able to do it. So that was going to be my second question to you. Like, how does how do how does one get on? Like, does your agent have to pitch you, or do they have to invite you? Like, what's that process like? Because I know it's not an easy show to get on. Oh, it's not. It's so highly competitive. Um, I think both. I think people pitch people to be on, just like with any other project. And I think people, uh, the producers have people that they want, obviously, and they have like a formula. They always have an athlete or you yeah. know, um, a Disney kid or, you know, so mm -hmm. they have like a formula when it comes to casting. So mm -hmm. I just think those stars align for me this time. And, um, and I'm finally here and I'm enjoying every single minute of it. When I tell you I have never been happier, I am so happy on that dance floor. It's just um, unbelievable. Well, I noticed when I would see clips or when I was watching you, first of all, we knew, I mean, we had reported that you were on it, but I, it slipped my mind. But your girl Candy did a live throughout the entire one episode. And I was like, Yeah, the oh, first like, one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Oh my gosh. Like, she's committed. Like, this is a real friend. Like, she, was, she um, didn't know where I was going to be in the lineup. And she never asked me because I would have told her it was like toward the end because we kind of know the day before. Um, and so when I saw that she did that, it was really great. And I was just so appreciative, appreciative because she was like, obviously so supportive yeah and i don't have a you know a fraction of the following that she has and for her to do that and and people were excited like her fans were excited my fans were excited and they all went out to vote also you know and i think um it just really helped me a lot for the first two episodes because you know they were like back to back um right. they didn't send anyone home the first night so the the votes counted but not probably as much as the second night. Right. So that's why I think I was like really um, safe the first two nights, even though I'm not in the near the bottom. I was never near the bottom in the um, first two episodes. On the third episode, I'm like, when they called my name, I was like, no, nah, say what now? Right, 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 right. What? I was like, right. what? <laughs> right. But I'm thinking like, yes, there's so many pros, real dancers in this competition, which I've never really seen a lot of prior to this season there are at least six professional dancers there or have a lot. a lot of training you know a lot of formal training and i'm like uh you know I, i'm not gonna be the best dancer there that's a fact right but i think the best dancers don't always win you know they if you don't. look at season because i've watched the show so many seasons sometimes horrible dancers win because they are so dedicated to getting better and they see their improvement and 
and the fans vote for them. So yeah, it's been it's been um it's been a learning curve because being at the bottom too, I'm like, I don't know how I'm here, you know. So yeah. Well, well, I the thing is, just, the, the thing, yeah, and, and that's why it's important that, and we'll talk about the voting in a second, but that's why it's important for, you know, for fans and viewers to not only watch, but to be active participants and to vote. Um, other yeah, housewives, because you know what? What's interesting is that I am trending number one every week since the show started. I'm trending number one on Twitter. Right. I don't know how that doesn't translate to people not voting because it's all favorable tweets. So right. if I'm, if I'm, trending at 80,000 tweets, how is that not translating to people voting? It's just a little like, I don't know what's happening. Either they're watching and not voting or um, or other people just have like another fan base that they're pulling from. I'm not really sure, but all of the housewives have been supporting me like from Beverly Hills to Potomac to New Jersey. Like so many of the housewives are like rooting for me, which makes me feel amazing. Right. But it's also their fan fan base too. So I'm like, I'm just not understand why why I'm not getting the votes because I'm not in the bottom at scoring. So why am I I must be in the bottom when it comes to the votes. I mean I that's just the only thing that I could think of. Right. But you can't get your head too you can't be too I mean, obviously it's about a numbers game, but you can't get so I'm not a I'm never done this for obviously, but you can't get so focused that it distracts you on like you enjoying yourself, you kick an ass when you get on the dance floor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everything it's is gonna happen the way it's supposed to. to. You're right. You're a hundred percent right. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it's like, you know, when I did my last dance, first of all, the contemporary with Moana, that is a dance I wanted to do for my daughter because my daughter is a huge fan of Moana. I like got her little mini me costume and everything. And then I went out there and I just tried to dance my heart out. And then they dinged us on the end from a landing that had nothing to do with me when we've seen other people trip and they gave them high score, you know, all kind of like, I, right. just, I don't understand what's happening here. Right. And then the second dance, which was, you know, the villain night for Disney and the queen dance. Um, I felt so good about that dance because it was like the first time I could get into a different character and like be really strong and be really sexy. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I was so happy that we nailed it and then I got lower scores still. So it was a little, you know, a little, it's a little, it can, it can start to affect your self-esteem, but then I have right. to talk myself down and say, you yes. know what? I am here for this experience to have fun and whatever happens will happen, but I can't beat myself up if, about the scoring or being in the bottom because at the end of the day, I'm still here and I'm still fabulous, honey. <laughs> Of course you are. Um, other housewives have, have done Dancing with the Stars, like Lisa Vanderpump, Nene, Lisa, Lisa Renna, Kim. Have any of those women, um, did they give you any suggestions or any tips on how to maneuver? Because I feel like there's some strategy, maybe. Um, yeah, you know, what they told me is, like, your Lisa Renna's and your Erica Jane's and, you, you know, your Terrell Owens. Like, I know a lot of the sort of alumni there. Um, so they told me, to basically pour your heart out just, you know, when you're doing your packages, like, like dance from your heart. Right. And, and a lot of times you hear, you're, you'll hear the judges talk about feeling. I think if you can get them to feel something, even though you may not be the best dancer, but if you get them to feel that you just believe in everything that you're doing and why you're there, I think it goes a long way. So that was really um, the main piece of advice they gave me. Okay. Um, I just read recently that you um, you had a dance through an injury and you thought that you almost broke one of your ribs or something like that. Can you tell me what, what that was about? Oh my God, I still have it. Yeah. Um, I have um, a two rib, a contu I have a contusion on two of my ribs. When I was in the air in the Moana dance, the last spin, when I was way, you know, up on his um, shoulders, mm -hmm. as soon as he put me down or, or like right when I was up and then it was an adjustment, I felt like my rib literally rolled over on the other rib. And I remember being in the air thinking, oh, I just broke my rib. You know, I've never broken a bone in my life. And I was yeah. feeling like it literally felt like my rib rolled on top of the other rib out of place. And I was like, oh you know, in the air. And then I went, and I, when I sat down, you know, when he put me down, I was just thinking, am I okay? You know, and it was just, everything went so fast. I just couldn't figure it out, but um, I am still injured. I've been seeing the doctor um, 
he's been giving me, you know, treatments and I'm patched up. I, I have so many injuries right now, girl. This old horse, she ain't what she used to be, this old mare. But let me tell you something. I'm, like I said, I'm still here. <laughs> but that leg, that kick is not as high. That stretch isn't as long, honey, but I'm still here. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, so that's the physical part. I know this, this process, in my mind, has to be a lot emotionally on you. Am I right? Oh, my God. I was crying the other day um, in bed after that second elimination. I was just like, it just got to me. Everything just got to me. You work, we don't have any days off. We work every day, whether it's rehearsing, whether it's blocking, whether it's taping. We, we basically rehearse every day. Then there right. are you know, times we've had to go to Disneyland. We had to do two dances in a week, but we didn't get additional time. It's, it was a lot of stress, but I'm not the only one that felt it. A lot of other people felt it. A lot of, a lot of the other contestants, which we're not used to this rigorous kind of schedule. Yeah. And I don't know, after that night and I was saved, I just remember just like being in my bed, I just felt defeated and alone. I was just like, I don't know what's right. happening. But then the next day I woke up and I was like, you know what, girl, you better, you know, pick that chin up, hold your head up high. And don't let anybody knock you off of your throne. You are a queen and you can do this. I'm the only woman of color there and I have to represent for my sisters, okay? So I'm out here for you guys. I'm out here, you know, for my grandmother, for my daughter. And I just want to be an example of strength, you know? And in that strength is beauty, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just, that's what one of my goals is here to do is just show people you can live your dreams and it doesn't matter how long it took you to get there but you can make it happen and you can just believe in yourself and it's really just what it is about for me right now right i know this has to be really um it's, it's competitive obviously because it's a competition but i was just thinking like you do you know housewives of atlanta which is a little competitive but you're used to being in in the public eye is it any yeah. harder or or is it are you already prepared mentally for it like to get in front of you know the world compete and literally be judged like I, I don't I don't know yeah. that feels good like is, is it is it easier or harder where you already prepared for this because of housewives or was this a completely do, new I realm for you I think it's a bit of both but I think you know we're missing the little piece of being Miss USA you know what I mean where I had to be judged <laughs> in front of you know this live audience which in the in that time in the 90s reached 10, you know, uh, I remember the Miss Universe competition at some point was like 50 million viewers or something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. So it, it, keep, it, it reminds me of being in the vein of Miss USA where you're afraid, you know, you know that you're being judged, um, but you can just be who you are and do the best that, that you can do. And But if you believe in yourself, it really doesn't matter what the judges say about you um, at the end of the day when you walk away. So I think that prepared me. But also um, being having tough skin when it comes to being on Real Housewives of Atlanta, being, you know, a girl who has to deal with a lot of different personalities, different situations, people that don't think the same way as you, fights that, you know, we get into verbally. And um, I think all of that kind of prepares you to like, you know, I'm going to have some tough skin here. Like I said, I was I cried one night, came back, you know, it was a different day. OK. You know, okay, so, so this is this is light. This is kind of light work for you. You're kind of mentally prepared for this. Yeah, it, it was not light work because it, it, I think because the stakes for me are so high. And I, I, I remember talking to um, one of my best friends. And I think the issue with me is the stakes are so high for me because I want to be here so badly. Other people are just like, yeah, you know, yes, I'm having fun. But no, I don't want to go home. So those stakes are higher where other people are just like, oh, yeah, yeah. If I go home tomorrow, whatever. We don't care. We know we were here. Right. Um, but because, yeah, because it is a dream of mine, the stakes are higher for me. Okay, gotcha. Um, you were saved from the bottom two couples in double elimination. Yeah. Um, so you were, I, I know that was a bit of surprise for you. But I, I do want to just go jump back to the fact that it's super important for your fans to vote. Or even if you're yeah, not a fan, you know, even if, go ahead. Tony, you, you, you're mute right now. I can't hear you. We can't. Oh, okay, we hear you now. You're good now. You're good. You hear me? Okay. Um, yeah. I think that I have a lot of fans out there and people that are rooting for me, but they have to vote. And it's two ways you can vote. You can text Kenya to 21523. You can do that 10 times. 
then you can go on abc.com. And I think I have all this on my, um, on my Instagram um, profile. You okay. can do, you can then go on abc.com and vote another 10 times. So now you have 20 votes per one person her oh, phone okay. so okay. and here's the other thing people on the west coast have to vote in east coast time when the show is live oh okay so if, if it's live at eight it's not live at five on the west coast but they can vote on the west coast at five their time because it's during the live show okay if they wait until they see the show on tv it's already done it's already decided so okay. they have to just make sure that. They vote Eastern time. As soon as 8 p.m. comes on, vote. Don't wait. Don't wait to see me. Don't wait to, you know, figure out what's going on with other couples. Just vote. Just vote. Ten okay. times, you know, text Kenya to 21523, and then go on abc.com and vote another ten times. And the show comes on on Mondays, right? Mondays live, yeah. Last week we had two shows, but that's very rare. It was Disney Villain and um, uh, Hero Night. So this time it's just only Monday, 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 Monday. Yes, please vote. They can go to the Kenya Moore. You can find out how to vote for me in my in my profile. But yeah, we got to vote. And I know Team Troll is voting. Yes. I know they're voting. Um, but we have to be consistent with our votes and vote every week. If one week is not enough, because after the show airs, you your scores are wiped clean, and then you have to do it all over again and compete all over again. If you're um, out of the country, can you vote or it's just in the States? Nope, just in the States. Okay, okay. Yeah. Last question Pull about Pull out those dancing. burner phones, y'all. I know y'all got those burner phones, honey. <laughs> Pull those bar burner phones out. <laughs> um, last question about Dancing with the Stars. What's one thing that this entire process has taught you about yourself thus far? Well, um, number one, I'm tougher than I think I am. Um, you know, I think I'm a strong person, but when it comes to like my dreams and my goals, it just means so much to me as it would anyone else. But, um, you know, I want, yeah, I'm, I'm 50 and at this point I want to live my life to the fullest and just make great decisions for myself and be happy. And, um, so for me, knowing that that is my course in life to be happy. That, that's what I choose. And I choose Dancing with the Stars to, to be able to be a vehicle for that. The other thing is humility, a lesson in humility, honey, because, you know, I thought I would come in, I would be fabulous, I would do a couple of twirls, girl, and then they would just be like, yes, 10, 10, 10. And when I got a six, 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 I was like, what? <laughs> So yeah, I, I have had a big lesson in humility, um, but that only makes me want to work harder. So for me, I'm busting my ass. I was just in rehearsal today. I'm going to go back. I'm taped up. I have all kind of, I don't know if you can see, but my knee is, my knee is, oh, I see your knee, yeah. got a brace on it. I have patches of lidocaine on, back braces. I'm getting shots. It's just, I'm a mess. I'm falling apart, but honey, I'm still... Like I said, I'm but you're still here. She's hilarious. She's relaxed. She's in a happy place. You know, I love when she just jumped in with her saying, and I'm, you know, going with the wind fabulous and all of that. I also love how she reminded Jasmine, like, girl, okay, I understand. Dancing with the Stars goes on for weeks and weeks and weeks. But don't forget now, as a pageant girl, yes, I know it's been years, but before you get to the point where you actually get the crown, all right, and they call your name, you have to go through this long process of people constantly judging you, judging what you look like, your body, all that stuff. So, you know, so I love that when she reminded Jasmine, Jasmine started laughing like, I mean, really? Did I just answer that question? <laughs> so that was a cute moment. Um, yeah. And then, of course, I talked about when Candy's supporting her. So I have talked extensively when it comes to Dancing with the Stars and how happy Kenya is and all of that. So there's not much to say. But I might have a lot more to say in part two because part two it's when she gets into housewives, you know, situations and marital issues and the divorce being finalized and all of that. So I will be back probably in an hour or so with part two, if not first thing tomorrow morning. I'm wishing everyone well and take care. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, 
go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.